Hi guys, it's Nigel Locking Key Dependent Estate Agents and I hope you're well. Today I want to welcome you to one of my favourite um, gated developments. Just in there behind me you can see a row of townhouses built by Bloor Homes. It's a place called Stratton's Court. It's private, it's uh, maybe 100 metres from the town, it's centrally located, it's kind of tucked away, close to amenities. And these beautiful townhouses offer space. You see the Juliet balconies, the garages, they have the bathroom, the en-suites. Let me just give you a little example. When you go inside, you're, you're welcomed by a big hallway. You've got an integral garage with this, prop uh, this, this property just in there behind me. You walk further along the hallway and then you have uh, a downstairs shower room. Then there's another bedroom four, which could be used as a bedroom four uh, or a study. There's an inner utility room and then another study or playroom or, or whatever you want to call it, a reading room. Upstairs, you've got a lovely landing area. You have decent kitchen, diners. There's lounge or well-shaped living rooms. So lounge, diners or living rooms. Three more bedrooms upstairs, guys. And then um, you've got your en-suites and your bathroom. It's a glorious day. You can see the sun is in my eyes. I absolutely love this development. This suits family people uh, looking for a family home. It suits people that are maybe elderly that want to be closer to amenities. It suits romantic couples that want to be close but can park their car and feel safe um, and also have the space, especially if people are hybrid working and working from home. These properties are so sought after. They very rarely come up and when they do, we're usually fortunate enough to have enough of these over the years. Every one of these properties I've sold, um, they're very, very sought after in Stratton's Walk. There's a couple of entrance ways in. And like I said, it's just the, the actual town itself is right on your doorstep. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. You know how my tours work. And we're gonna get you inside just over there where that white door is into have a look at this beautiful Bloor home in Stratton's Court. And you can see the front of it. And let's just have a go to go along the rank of these townhouses. Further little townhouses and flats. There's a gated entrance there that just opens up. There's a little communal garden area here. And then again, there's some little flats over there. Little entrance over there. And you're back in to what I think is a really exclusive development, this in Stratton's Court. Bloor Homes did a really, really good job with this. They came with underfloor heat and it's all double glazed and, um, as well. It's, it's just a decent property in a decent address. Um, what we're gonna do is go through that door. Let's go straight into this property, because property, I think everybody knows about Melksham. You know, you walk 100 metres that way, you're into the town. You've got the new campus, you've got a array of shops, supermarkets. You've got a train station in Melksham, schools, and also you've got access to other towns at Chippenham, Corsham, Bradford and Avon, Devizes. You've got really, really good road links along, along the A350. If you wanted to go a bit further into Bath, it's about 13 miles. The beautiful National Trust village of Laycock, the picturesque village of Laycock, I should say, is only three or four miles away. You can go down there. There's countryside around you. And if you need to get onto the M4, a 15, 20 minute drive, no more than that. And you're onto the M4 and you go down to the southwest or up to London or wherever you need to be. It's a very central, centrally located uh, to, uh, market town, Melksham, with all its amenities. This is just on its doorstep. You're really close. There's your gated entrance that way or through that way. Let's go in through that door. Take a good look around Stratton's Court. As promised. Just going to give you another little look around here. It's so quiet, tucked away. stand outside a little bit longer there you can see your parking garage cute little Juliet balconies covered storm porch let's get into here look at that you're immediately welcome to this beautiful hallway the light just floods through you've got this wood effect flooring you've got a door there where well, you know where that's gonna lead that's to lead to the garage there's little areas there then you put some freestanding mirrors shoe rack down there really really cute and then this just turns on and goes further on when it turns off it spurs off into other rooms as well as you can see the stairs they will go to the first floor landing i'm just going to open this garage just quickly i will try and find where the light is and there we have it little gym area in there if you want it put mats there bins up and over door absolutely brilliant so you can put a car in there but you've got plenty of parking there. You can put a car in there in front as well. Now with all my tours, as you know, I'm gonna turn this camera around. I just wanna give you, I'm not gonna go all the way back there, but you can see the length of this, this beautiful hallway. 
They're just greeted with space. I think these are great family homes, but I get more and more couples, mature couples or young couples wanting to buy this because they're professional. They work from home. They're, they've got decent jobs. They want the space. They want the rooms for their little offices. And this works just perfectly. So I actually think in some respects, it's the perfect house. <laughs> uh, it really is. But let's go and have a little wander around. Don't just take my word for it. I know you've seen these before. There's a little understairs storage cupboard in there. I'm not gonna open it up. There's probably some bits and pieces in there. Turn right and then you're into your downstairs shower room. Low level WC, shower cubicle. Love the little difference of painting there. The quality and workmanship's like this all the way throughout the property, guys. Wash and basins, shower cubicle. Absolutely brilliant. Little towel holder there. Just going to show you the extractor fan and then back out through here one of the other things worth considering in case you know you needed someone on the ground floor there's two rooms here there's a utility there there's a kind of a study there that's been extended but if we go through this door where that continuation of that flooring is this could be your bedroom four or a downstairs bedroom these guys use it as a reading room or a meditation room or a chill out room and a music room the doors open up to that garden which is brilliant let me just take you around. Those are the doors. The garden goes through there and around the back. They're not big gardens, by the way. So these aren't properties where you need to look after a big garden. It's a communal area. You've got parks around you. You've got areas to walk dogs. But these are these are really houses that suit somebody that doesn't want all that space outside. It's happy to have a smaller garden because they don't want to do all the work. This is perfect for them. But just consider that. So we're going to call that bedroom four come back through you can call it a study but the reason why i'm not going to call it a study today because you've got a bit of tile flooring here you go into a useful utility so you've got um a sink sink unit some tiled splashbacks base unit there washing machine a standard extractor fan in there really good to have a utility downstairs it takes it away from the kitchen upstairs and then look at this it's actually one of my favorite rooms i love the racking and the shelving whatever you want to call it to the left Again, nice pitch to that roof. Lovely windows and doors opening up. Nice flooring, but what a cool room. So let's take somebody working from home. You could use this as a bedroom again. You could even have it as an occasional fifth bedroom, guys. But I think this is a, this is a study. It's crying out to be the study. It looks like one. But sometimes we meet people and they have two people working from home. Sometimes a hybrid working. So this is why these houses work really well. And if people are used to coming from bigger homes to smaller homes, this house works out well again because they still get a bit of space. They don't feel they're losing as much because it's arranged in this way. Love the double glazing that just opens it up. Bit of summer heat, you know, eating outside in that garden, which we'll show you in a minute because it goes around there. Look at all that racking up there. Great, but we had sort, you know, your games, your books. Absolutely fabulous. And let's just recap with this because I just want to. You know, well, there's quite a bit to take in with these properties. We're going to call this the study. Come back out and then you're into this utility area. So it's utility. Under the under stairs store, you know there's a garage there and you know that's the entrance door coming in. Turn this camera around again. There's that ensuite shower room. Well, they just call it a shower room, not an ensuite, just a shower room. But it does link to this area here. So if I come back on myself into this bedroom four, absolutely perfect so what we should do guys let's go upstairs let's have a look at that first floor and let's start again you know because we're going to go upstairs but what a magnificent hallway i don't know i don't know what it is about this lock and key have always been strong agents for stratton's court we've sold so most of these properties maybe it's my enthusiasm but i think these are great properties you're going to come up there's a to the first floor landing there's a storage cupboard in here there's loads of storage by the way guys that's going to be your kitchen. That's going to be your living. Love that hallway coming up. Let's go straight into this kitchen because it's great. You've got built-in appliances there. You're going to have your electric oven all already included. There's your ceramic hob there. Drawn base units. A bit of tile flooring. It out shapes across. Built-in washing machine. Uh, sort of built-in fridge freezer down there. Plumbing for dishwashing there. Two nice windows opening up and look at the space in here as I walk back really good kitchen diner there you've got a little breakfast area there two windows bringing in natural light just a fabulous 
fabulous room and look through there look at those Juliet balconies and that light just coming through and flooding onto that flooring again this is an impressive property this is a very very well presented property as well absolute credit to the two people that live in here absolutely brilliant reason why they're moving they're just it's just lifestyle they've been here a number of years they're looking to, to buy a different style of property that is the only reason Come back out, and there's your kitchen. I think that's all self-explanatory, don't you? Lovely doors opening too. And again, remember that door there, if I come back through to the uh, landing area, guys, because it goes up as well to the next floor, that's the door that takes you also into this lovely L-shaped dining room, we call it. I call it a living room rather than a lounge diner, because here you just greet it where it opens up again extra room there so you can put your sofa unit you can get your tv on the wall freestanding there i absolutely think this is a fabulous room the light from the juliet balconies is perfect pop the camera out there there's that communal garden that i spoke to about earlier and there's your parking in front bring that camera around let's just pause it here just so i can just show you exactly what's on offer here and it feels quiet, it feels warm, it just feels very inviting. Love this property, absolutely adore it. So let's recap, because obviously this is your L-shaped living room, okay? You put your dining room table there, you put a breakfast table in the kitchen, plenty of areas here, like I say, two access points from the kitchen to the hallway. Come back out on yourself. Just leave you there for that moment. Come back out on yourself again and then the kitchen. And we'll call this a kitchen breakfast room for now. So look guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. We've covered the ground floor, we're on the first floor. Let's go up to that second floor and look at the three remaining bedrooms, bathroom and ensuite. And so as we just come out the kitchen, we're just gonna turn. Again, look at the paint, the workmanship, the detail. You can see all the cutting in. Absolutely perfect. Come up the stairs. And of course you're gonna have a bedroom there. Bring this camera around for you guys. Bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. I'm gonna walk forward because we've got a built-in cupboard here. Shall I open it up? Well, I don't always, as you'd expect. Decent linen cupboard there. Bedroom here. Again, this would be a perfect office. You've got little cute areas in there. You could put a desk, you could build one in. Nice little window again. There's that view at the front. And it's quiet. Yeah, the people that live here, they obviously keep them to themselves themselves. It's a good community spirit. From what I know, and from all the people I know, they're brilliant because I've moved people into this development many, many times. Uh, and it's, on, it's an honour to have this, this one on our books today. So that's the bedroom, double glazed windows, one would expect. Come back through. Double bedroom, double bed there, window. Areas there, and then you've got a built-in wardrobe as well, which is really, really handy. Pop that camera back out to the front. There we go. Turn this camera around. And then you can see another bedroom access to loft space into this bedroom bring this back out and there we have this bedroom i haven't numbered them because you know there's four bedrooms there's one downstairs remember um, don't forget what's downstairs there's a lot to it downstairs as well as upstairs we're coming into the bathroom nice bathroom there bit of tile tiling there ceiling spotlights extractor fan low level wc Warsham Basin and Panel Bath. Really nice room this. And there we have it. Main bathroom. There you can just see it's all controlled. My points coming into the bedroom here. Main bedroom, double bed. Bring the camera around there. Just to show you there is a built-in wardrobe. You know there's going to be a door into the ensuite. Main bedroom. 
double bed. Open this up. There we go. Another ensuite. So downstairs you've got a shower room. Upstairs you've got a main bathroom on the top floor plus an ensuite. So we, we're looking at you know three loos or three bathrooms or three showers or or whatever. But really good size. You've got your panel bath. Uh, not your panel bath, you've got your uh, pedestal wash and basin, obscure double glazed window to that elevation, some tiling around there, low level, low level WC, and then that walk-in shower cubicle, extractor hood, perfect. Turn off that light, stand here, and there is your bedroom. So you've got double bed, freestanding on either side, plenty of room there for another chest to draw. You've got that window like with that dormer in there. But just remember, just in behind there, there's also a built-in wardrobe. So it does offer more wardrobe space. So just to recap up here, bedroom one, ensuite, lovely landing. Bathroom, decent size, guys. We can all agree. Another bedroom here, which can be an office as well. And again, another guest bedroom here. So look guys, I hope you've enjoyed that tour, the tour so far. Let's get outside and let's just have a look at that rear garden just to finish off the tour of this property at Stratton's Court. We are going to go outside now. We're just coming back to the hallway because I've come downstairs. And with this property, and just in case you wondered, I think you all know, but I'm just in case, because I don't want to assume you do have underfloor heating throughout the property. They're all individually operated by these thermostats in every room. So you can turn them off. If you don't use the rooms, just shut it down. But you've always got under floor heating here, uh, which is brilliant. Obviously, that goes with the property. So through here, love this hallway. It's one of my favourite things, this hallway about this property. Try not to forget your shower. Bedroom for utility. And another lovely room, this. I could call it the library room, but it's a study. Just because of all that racking that's there. Let's get out up into the, and open up into the garden. Here you're gonna have a cute little garden, little flower pots. There's that door that goes into bedroom four. Turn the camera around and you can see that walling. If you're on the other side of that walling, you'd be able to walk to the town. And like I said, you're about 100, 100 meters away. You're not far at all, but you're enclosed in here. You can put cute little seating areas. You can have a little barbecue area in here if you want. Like I say, they're not built with big gardens. There is a communal area just there outside as well. But I'm gonna summarize, this is a truly immaculate townhouse. Words describe it, flexible, uh, versatile, spacious. Um, suits families, suits individuals, suits couples, suits downsizers. It's a brilliant, brilliant property, this in Stratton's Court. So look, any questions, it's Nigel at Lock and Key Dependent Estate Agents. My telephone number is 01225 707 342. I do not believe this is going to be on the market long. Get in touch. If this is the property that you'd like to see, please get in touch quickly because this market is still fluid and it will continue to be for a number of months yet. And again, I'll give you the number. It's 707 342. Hope you're all well.